alaikum. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammadin kum salli ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim anna kamid majid. Allahumma barak ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammadin kum barak ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim anna kamid majid. All praises to Allah, Lord of all the worlds. Uh, may his peace and blessings be upon the final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, his family and his companions. Uh, first, straight away, thank you to John Jay College for allowing us uh, to host this event. And a very special thank you to the brothers and sisters who dedicate their lives every day to save other lives, the Fire Department of New York. Thank you very much for coming out. I want to take a minute and share with you my personal story on why I think it's important to learn CPR. Three years ago, on the morning of Eid, my mother went into cardiac arrest and respiratory arrest at home. And I heard my father scream and I ran in and I seen my mother lifeless. At that point, my mind blanked out and the first thing I did automatically, the powers to be from upstairs just took over my body. I called 911. After I called 911, I jumped on my mother's chest and I started CPR, but I never knew how to do CPR. The images of me breaking my mother's ribs on top of her chest still haunt me till today. I had my wife call my doctor friend on the phone while I am trying to simulate what I think was CPR. Her heart was stopped for a period of 23 minutes. Her brain did not receive any blood for 23 minutes. When the paramedics arrived, they took over. They shocked her about four times and they intubated her and they got a pulse back. When she got to the ER, a couple of my doctor friends met me over there and they said, we don't know how she's still alive. Upon looking at all the data, the medical data, they said, if you didn't jump on her chest at the time you did, she would not have made it to the ER. As a son, I sometimes always find myself, if I knew how to do CPR, would I be with my mother today or not? A week later, after hypothermia and other medical procedures, she was pronounced brain dead and she passed away. But as a son, I feel blessed that even though I didn't know how to do CPR, I did something. That was the day I decided that I wanted to start this organization known as Feasibilillah Services of NYC, now known as Muslims Giving Back. <coughs> Our program, Muslims for Life, is all about pro-life, whether it be a blood drive, CPR. <coughs> CPR is something so simple to learn, but the results are, have such a high impact. I work in an emergency room, and what you're gonna see today and learn how to do today is what the doctors do when the patients come in with no heartbeat. You can forget about $80,000 equipment, a million dollar equipment. The basic CPR is what saves lives. And that's the truth. Tomorrow could be your mother, your father, your daughter, your grandmother, if they pass out or have a heart attack, as they say, right next to you, do you know what you have to do to give them a chance? There's no excuse. In the Quran, Allah says, if you save one life, it says, if you saved all of mankind. We have the tools, we have 
everything we need, all the resources, we just need that knowledge, which today our brothers and sisters in the FDNY are going to make sure we have and know what we got to do in case of an emergency. Because if I have a heart attack or my heart stops, I really pray that the person who's around me knows CPR. Because you know what? Because at least I have a good chance. So please take this message seriously. And what you see, get other people involved. Come out, we'll have more sessions. Get other people motivated, come out, learn CPR. <coughs> get yourself certified, start becoming an instructor, start a movement. Your efforts will, not can, will save lives. Because when you dial 911, that's what they do. And we can do it too. So I'd like to thank all of you for coming out. Uh, at this time, we invite Brother Gabriel from John J. MSA to say a few words. That was not let him know. Um, thank you guys for coming. Uh, I just have to say, you know, this is very important. You know, and basically what he said. But I'm sorry if you're disappointed for the guys if this is not a lady. And I'm sorry for the ladies if this is not a guy. But um, I'd just like to introduce Brother Sosa next. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for participating in our Compressions Only CPR with the Fire Department. Uh, with us, we have uh, Lieutenant Farouk Mohammed, Instructor Fieber, and Instructor Gutnik. Today, we're going to learn Compressions Only CPR. It's a non certifying class, but you don't have to be certified to save a life. By learning Compressions Only CPR, you allow the heart to and the blood to circulate throughout the body. And that is one of the most important aspects of CPR, circulating the blood. Not much just of getting that air in, but doing the compressions and not being scared on doing compressions because it is a scary thing. I've been doing it for 23 years and from the first time I've done it to like the last time I did it, which was about two weeks ago, it is still a scary thing. It is something that, you know, you are, the person in front of you, you are pumping their, their heart. You are literally trying to give them life. The video today is gonna to show you exact steps on how to do compressions only CPR. At the end, we're also gonna show you an app that we have and we've developed on the steps on doing CPR and the importance of finding an AED. Because we will also show you how to operate an AED, which is an automatic external defibrillator. You have them throughout the schools, you have them throughout the city, and it will also, also help you locate an, an AED. All the questions, if you have questions, they're all important, of course, if you hold them towards the end.